Yeah, love for the truth is received, you know, and you receive something like it says in the Bible. What do you have that you did not receive? And if you received it, why do you boast if you did? You know, and if you haven't received a love for the truth, then, you know, what did it, what did Jesus say about Satan? He said, if you're not received a love for the truth, he said, when he speaks lies, he's just speaking of his own nature. So if you love lies, it's because your nature is still, <laughs> that what he, Jesus said, that means basically to put it blunt, it's like you're still, he said, your father, Satan, you know, he said, he's the one that speaks lies. You know what I mean? When, when you have a love for the lies, you have a love for the things of Satan, the God of this world. So there just comes a time where, you know, um, like I think about Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, you know, we get in these, these seasons and years and uh, people tread, you know, I used to get real tore up about different things with the holidays, but it's gotten, I got to where it's just like, I can overlook it. Cause like Paul says, it's like an idol and thing, an idol ain't nothing. You know what I mean? It's nothing. It don't mean nothing. Like even what did it, even Jeremiah said, the customs of people are vanity. It's vain. It's empty. Anyway, like they have eyes, they don't see and all this. So even if no matter what, when people get knowledge of certain things or whatever, it's not that I think about like Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. I don't think maybe when they was coming through with this big old whatever this big statue and they said you know everybody has to bow down and everything i think maybe they wouldn't just making a big deal and going and telling everybody that's an idol that's an idol because i'm sure there was just probably idols all in that land but there came a time to where it's like they said now you have to bow down and they said whoa whoa, whoa. I, I don't think that they were i wouldn't think that they were like dissidents in the land and always just big breaking the laws of breaking Nebuchadnezzar's laws and all this, but it come to a point, so it's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Now you're saying, I have to bow down to that. They said, no, 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 no. We're not going to bow. The Lord is our God. So there's just certain things in culture. It's like, no, I have a love for the truth. So like Jesus said, he's like, if someone loves son or daughter more than me or someone, you love anybody more than him, you're not worthy of him. So it's just sometimes people are choosing. It's like, no, I love God. And when, when you sin against your own conscience, and you know, so some people, because of their knowledge, their conscience is devoured when they practice certain things. So it ain't the fact of like, if, if someone wants to do it and your conscience ain't bothered by it, that's on you. If you have a love for the truth, you received it and you got that from God. You had to receive it. What do you have that you did not receive? You receive that. So wherever, wherever, if you receive the love for the lies, you got it somewhere. You got it. Or maybe you already got it. I don't know. We're born into Adam. We're born. We're born in this world. We have to be born again to receive the love for the truth, right? Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. He leads us into all truth. And no lie is of the truth. None. So if you go and just because you want to say, well, we want to make this of the truth, you can't make a lie of the truth. You can't make it. Like if, if, I, if I was born on May 5th and I said, well, I want to identify I was born on... Uh, January 1st. I'm a New Year's baby. I can't. I didn't have no control when I come out of the world. I was born on May 5th. <laughs> Cinco de Mayo. It ain't January 1st. I can't be in New Year's. I can't do that. No lies. That would be a lie. You know, I, I, I don't like it when someone lies to me. And when you find out, lie, well, this is a lie. This is a, no lies of the truth. So if you don't, if someone wants to practice, they're more than free to. I, that's what I'm saying. I wouldn't make a big deal about it. But when someone comes to me, and says, now you have to. Now, why ain't you bowing down? Why ain't you putting this in your house? You have to bow down. Everybody's doing it. Don't you hear it? Don't you see? We're in the season. You have to do it. No, I don't. I do not. Let it be known. What did they say? Let it be known. Look, let it be known. If so be our God. He said, look. They said, no, 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 no. We are not careful to answer them in this matter. Uh, if it so be our God whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning furnace and he will deliver us out of that hand. Okay, it's like, hey, if we're going to throw you in the fire. You don't work. They said, no, no, he will deliver us. You don't have to. I mean, I'm just thinking. That was their time to stand and say, no, I don't have to do this. So it's like, it's, if someone, why is my, you know, if I am if I feel free, if you feel free to do something like that, you're, I'm not judging your conscience by that. Why is, he said, Paul said, why am I judged because of another, why is my freedom judged because because of another man's conscience. But if my conscience feels, ah, it defiles my conscience to go and practice these kind of things. You know, because what did Romans even tell us? It says, look, if one person considers one day above another, okay, if you consider it, you have to have all these days. And it says, one person considers each day alike, let each be convinced in his own mind. 
It's in your own mind. You must be convinced. So don't, you don't have to come and try to convince me. Go get in the Word of God. You go study the truth. You go study. You know, it's like, it ain't culture. No, they say we don't just, it, it, Jesus, knowing everything about him, like he said, look, your whole fear of God is learned by the traditions of men. You know what I mean? It, it's something, like I said, you have to receive the gift. It's it's a received thing. It's a gift, though. He give you the love, so you received it. I didn't go get it. I received it. It's a gift. The whole gift of salvation is a gift, and when you receive it, you can submit to that. You know what I mean? So anyway, I mean, I'm just learning. Look, it's like I don't. We don't have to bow, but if you wanna, if you wanna bow to certain things in the court, whatever it is, that's on you. Like let each look. Each person should know how to possess his own vessel in sanctification and honor. You know, so we can have unity even among things like that. Jesus Christ, it's like, hey, the spirit of Antichrist is the one that said Jesus didn't come in the flesh. You know, do you confess Jesus Christ come in the flesh? He came fully God, fully man. Uh, he emptied himself of his glory on the cross. And uh, you know what I mean? He emptied, he didn't empty, he never emptied himself of his Godhead, but he emptied himself of these, you know what I mean? Certain attributes to become fully man. God come in the flesh. He he knows. He went through. He was acquainted with griefs. He was acquainted. A man of sorrows acquainted with griefs. He knows He knows what we feel. He had to live in a world of lies and proclaim the truth. And to where even the people that proclaimed him, he was like, uh, you know, that, that taught about God. They were teaching it all. You know what I mean? Adding a lot of man's culture and traditions on it. And they even grieved him. Why ain't you doing? Why ain't y'all... Uh, but why ain't y'all doing what the elders do and what we've all been doing for years? And he said, look, look, look. I'm the way, the truth, and the life. You know, it's a point into me that, that where the Spirit of the Lord, there, there is freedom. You know, he said, those that are they're going to worship me in spirit and in truth. So one person, every day's a day to, that's it. Some people, they just are every day's a day to glorify God, to celebrate Jesus Christ, the death, the burial, the resurrection, to proclaim Christ Jesus and Him crucified because the gospel is the power of salvation. Every day, 365 days a year. So anyway, God bless you. I love you. That's just a little bit of my heart where I feel about it. I used to go and I would cause quarrels and strife and all that. So no matter what, it ain't worth causing strife over because like we said, it ain't nothing. All that ain't nothing really. It don't mean nothing. It don't do nothing to my life because the power is in Christ. The, the power is in the gospel. You know what I mean? That's what means something. Keep your eyes on him. So if we have, if some, some people has to have certain things and days and all this for contentment, that's them. But godliness with contentment is great gain. You don't have to have, if you have little, you can be content. If you have much, you can be content. In Christ, contentment comes from being in Him and in Christ alone. God bless you. I love you. all have a wonderful day.